Okay, David, this video is for you of my LX200 10 inch. The uh, weather is nice, and I opened up the observatory and let you take a look at what is um, going on with it. I would highly recommend that you use a power supply that gives you a steady 12 volts uh, so that you can avoid any uh, voltage. Uh, spikes So here's the walk around of it The tray Controller which we have not turned on yet And the telescope It moves uh, really smoothly What I love about these scopes is that manual controls are really great in both axes. Fantastic. All right, so let's power it on. Turn that on with the on switch. Let's see, do we not have power? see what happened here here we go my cord right there was loose a little bit because as you can see it is running let's get the controller object library I'm gonna lock the array Move the scope. Up and down. See if you can see here, there's a lot of light. So it powers on, moves in all of the axes. See what else can I show you here? All the mechanisms. All right, I'm gonna take this cover off and show you the front corrector. Just hang on for a second. Here we go. The front corrector is clean. Nothing wrong with this at all. I have always had the uh, scope covered. Forgot to mention that I do have a uh, weight bar on the bottom here. If you're going to do any astro photography, then this is really good to balance your scope. I'm going to leave that on there. together let's see what else I can show you all right so before I package it up there you have it there's your scope really really terrific scope let me tell you it's hard to find a meat without any mirror shift and this is it so it's going to take me a little time to package this because I want to make sure it's done properly and it's going to make it to you um, safely. So I'll just give you another final look. That's it. Bye.